as carbonated drinks are declared lethal and fancy juices get called out for being sugar bombs, we are back to basics. Which means water is the only beverage that our body needs. Water is a big deal. No other element is so important to our physiology or health. Making an already complicated issue even more confusing is the advent of alkaline water. Is it a farce, a hoax, or is it the real deal? Natural water is a completely neutral liquid with a pH close to 7. Simply put, alkaline water has a higher pH than regular water. Proponents of alkaline water argue that even if your pH levels look fine, your body could be drawing on stored buffers from bone and muscle to maintain pH within the ideal range. Human body is a complex machine to begin with. Our bodies do a fantastic job of maintaining blood pH within a tight range. Claiming that everyone needs to alkalize is an oversimplification. If there is an imbalance, body has its own ways to correct it. For example, if your blood becomes too acidic, you breathe out more carbon dioxide to bring the levels down. Once alkaline water hits your stomach, the gastric juices will neutralize it. Another example of natural balancing. Skewing your body's pH balance too far on the alkaline side can do damage over time, too, particularly by throwing off the digestive process. Secondly, each organ system has a unique pH range. And since there are various ways that the body maintains pH balance, if pH is out of whack, it's important to get to the underlying cause. Without knowing the cause, you can't determine whether alkaline water can help you. Marketing guys have done a great job convincing people that alkaline water increases stamina or overall well-being, but they are just speculations lacking any scientific basis. Hydration is necessary. Just drink water. Don't fancy it.